Army Stinger 150 with you. Today I'm going to show you my IBA OTV, commonly known as the Interceptor Body Armor Outer Tactical Vest. I'll show you all its different parts, the armor itself, the inserts, the different pouches you can put on it. And as soon as I adjust the camera, we'll get started. Okay guys, I'm back. Let's go over the IBA OTV. We'll talk about the armor for a second. Now this has in it right now level 3A soft armor which can stop 9mm and below caliber uh, round. Let me see over here we've got the soft armor which is made by point blank. The uh, rest of it is made by Unicorp but all the soft armor is made by point blank and I think that's it. Okay, here we got the gorget. It is also has the soft armor on it. You can totally take it off if you wanted to. I like to keep it on. And this does have the uh the yoke which is this part, which goes underneath the uh, shoulder pads right here. Okay, on the sides, like I said, these are from Point Blank. And it has the uh, soft armor in it. Let me show you that right quick. Okay. And it says carrier, ballistic, panel, ESBI, will protect you from fragmentation in 9mm submachine gun or less threats. Okay, put that back. Just like the rest of the, uh, the vest itself, it has, a, has a, a, a separate compartment or pouch for the uh, plates. The sappy plates, I guess they call them. One goes on here, on the other side. One goes in the front, one goes in the back. And the rest of it is soft armor. Now I haven't put the plates in here because it's so damn heavy that I wouldn't be able to wear it anyway with a bad back and everything. So here we go. We want to talk about some of the pouches and uh, different stuff you can put in it. Oh, by the way, first I want to show you I do have the uh, arm protector, body armor, interceptor. There you go. Now, I don't have the soft armor or the, anything in those at the moment. And I've got the groin protector, which is soft armor. Now, let's see. Let's see if this has anything in here. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, ballistic panel size, small to medium, body armor, interceptor, groin protector. Insert this side the body. This is all current stuff that they're using in the army right now. So I do have the other protection. So let's go over some of the pouches and what I've got on this vest right at the moment. Starting up here, of course, I've got some uh, shotgun shells, just the regular bird shot shotgun shells for uh, personal protection. Over here, I do have a a green smoke grenade. We'll look at that right quick. It is real. It is live. You are allowed to have these. Over here you can see that I have the uh, tube to my uh, Camelback. And this is the Camelback Hydromax that comes with uh, the Rifleman Pack FLC and all the pouches and stuff with it. I don't use the FLC that much. That's because I like to put everything on the vest itself. So I just take that off, and I'm done. So, over here, grenade pouch, which is my, this one is made by Specialty Defense. It has my GPS in it. And of course, right here, I've got my Uniden uh, communications, a little walkie-talkie there. It's good for about two miles, I believe. Of course, i got the American flag and my name. And this one... 
In these pouches, I've got, let's see, a small pair of binoculars that you might have seen in one of my previous videos. And this is a panel with two. And in this one, I just got the military cravat that I can use for a, a headband or maybe a bandage or anything like that. So that's pretty useful. Over here, I got my Gerber multi pliers. They haven't failed me yet. I've had these since 1990. Down here, of course, we got this is a single M4 carrying case for that magazine. And of course, I have another one right there. And this is for two 5.56 magazines. Of course, I got a little uh, light stick with them at the moment. And right here, I have this waterproof container. You've seen it before. And of course, if I take all this stuff out, and this is why I keep this on my vest, I can take this other stuff out, put this on here. It has Velcro. I can put this right here, and then insert this little container, which fits perfectly in this thing. and snap it down and now I've got a waterproof container right there probably for my camera or cigarettes or whatever I don't want to get wet so there you go with that so I'll just put these uh, M4 magazines back in here there we go get this stuff out of the way over here this is a uh, a Gerber sheath, but I don't put anything Gerber in it. I put my Coast 4 light LED in there. Fits perfectly. And most of the stuff that I have in here is just for illustration, illustrative purposes. Uh, this isn't necessarily everything that I'm going to put on this vest. It's just what I came up with this morning. So over here, this is the uh, IFAC pouch. It is made by Specialty Defense. And inside, I've got just a basic first aid kit with the normal stuff you might see. Uh, it's a trauma kit, really, for like gunshots and stuff like that. It's got the cat tourniquet. It's got, let's see what this is bandage, gauge, compressed, camouflage, type 2, class 2. Okay, close this up. And down here on the side, I have the e-tool carrier. I don't know if you can see that really well or not. Let's see if I can just move this over a bit. This is the e-tool uh, pouch. This one's made by Bianchi. And inside, for illustrative purposes, just to show you what can go in here, it's a Plano you know, container. And of course, I've got a uh, Israeli bandage in there, so that fits really nicely. That's just an idea of what you, what else you can put in there besides the e-tool. And at the back, I've got another uh, grenade pouch. This one is also made by Bianchi. And inside, I got my uh, my headlamp by Princeton Tech, made in America. Great stuff. Put that back. On the other side, I've got the uh, canteen and accessory pouch. Of course, I've got a canteen in it right now. But of course, you can put anything in here. Uh, it's got two little side pouches for water tablets or just about any number of things you can put in here. And of course, right here, I have my Benchmade. 527 SPK Mini Presidio. And further back, I have another canteen accessory case. Inside it, I used to have my uh, my pouch for my Oakleys. Fits perfectly. And behind that, I have another grenade pouch. Right here. And inside this one, I got my Kamenga. Synthetic compass, great compass. You can find one at a decent price, snap it up, 
They are expensive. It's over $100 on their website. And as you know, I show you the tube to the uh, hydration pack. Of course, it doesn't necessarily attach to the IBA itself, but you usually see this along with the uh, IBA. And all you do is circle it around your shoulders like that. Uh, this probably wouldn't be set up like this for me because I'm left-handed. I have this on this side. But that's pretty much it. The vest itself consists of the groin protector, the upper arm protectors, the two side pouches for the uh, side soft armor and plates. It's got a gorget and the neck yoke, which is all soft armor right here. Uh, inside the front is another panel of soft armor and in the back as well. That's the IBA OTV Interceptor Body Armor. If you want to know any more about it, a little bit more information, I'd be happy to take PMs or just comment below. So I'll talk to you guys later.